Throughout the island world of the Pacific, scattered men of many European races and from almost every grade of society carry activity and disseminate disease. Some prosper, some vegetate. Some have mounted the steps of thrones and owned islands and navies. Others must again marry for a livelihood. A strapping, merry, chocolate-coloured dame supports them in sheer idleness. And dressed like natives, but still retaining some foreign element of gait or attitude, still perhaps with some relic, such as a single eyeglass of the officer and gentleman, they sprawl in palm-leaf verandas and entertain an island audience with memoirs of the music hall. And there are still others less pliable, less capable, less fortunate, perhaps less base, who continue, even in these isles of plenty, to lack bread. At the far end of the town of Papit, three such men were seated on the bench under a purao tree. I've uh, been working on this project, which will, I am translating, will translate into paintings and sculpture, because I'm, I'm a visual artist. Mm. And so I do my research and then I try to express my conclusions in, in visual format. And I've been on a quest to find out uh, what mm. the ebb tide is really about. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of things. I know that's a lot. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, this is a key question, of course. Um, I think the ebb tide is somehow.